Hello, hello everyone, here I am with another LEGO Harry Potter Summer 2022 review, and this one is on 12 Grimwald Plays. So on the front of the box here we have uh, the three logos and that order that we've seen since last year, and also a picture of the set that there is, a couple of figs flying on their brooms, and also uh, showing the main feature of it, and down below the whole minifig selection included and also age recommendation is eight and up and set number seven six four zero eight has a thousand eighty three pieces oh whoops all right and on the back of it you do see the, the other view of the set and also the main feature of it again and some close-ups of each of the minifigs and the logos again and yeah and now onto the instruction manual of which same picture as on the front of the or I mean a different picture than the front of the box but it's the interior view of it and on the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. And then out of the Hogwarts Castle sets, build and swap, of course. And then the last feature, or, or last step of it. And also in the front of which, uh, out of how they're transitioning to the paper bags, of course. So now on to the meat things, of course. First up is Harry Potter himself, of which most likely a completely exclusive version. Well, I think this printing of which we haven't seen since like 2018 or so, but but does but is this time using the longer legs, of course. But also interesting thing with a few of these figs is have the like uh, hinge rod there, and also all new piece for the broom bottoms, which very interesting. And also finally an update of brooms and of the broom piece. So which and next to which we have Ron, which with an exclusive torso printing and. Uh, but also not only like printing and also so ni a nice face print and also of course there's the same hair piece as from the last couple waves of course and next to which is Sirius Black new exclusive variant of him with this green jacket type printing to him and also a face print of which and hair piece kind of the same as most versions and next to it and then have Kingsley Shacklebolt Oh, which quite a little bit different than the previous one we've had in the collectible in a collectible minifig series, of course. Yes, but just not without the robes over on top, of course, and also a regular blue color outfit instead of like darker blue. But aside from that, still looks good, and also still using that same uh, hair hat piece, of course. But also a new broom piece in town, obviously. And next to it is one of my favorite characters, a uh, Nymphadora Tonks, of course. But of course, with the nice punkish outfit going from full torso and leg printing, really nice. And also using lavender hairpiece. But although on the films looked more lightish pink to me, I'm uh, not sure. But although this hairpiece still works out for that, and of course, face print to which done quite well for that. But also, of course, you do get to the same hair piece in red, representing when it changes different colors, of course. And then next to which, also exclusive to this set, is a uh, creature, the house elf. Well, have head piece of which, similar to Dobby's, but of course, but oddly enough, does uh, the mouth's kind of bit molded in, but except it's not printed on like Dobby's, of course. 
not sure why that is, but whatever. And all of the eyes of which kind of animated, and also some good printing to it. And for his front torso printing, same exact problem as most of which, where it's a lighter skin tone than the regular kind, which which is a big problem that Lego always gets. But yeah. Envy, of course, holding the classic umbrella piece. And next to it is Molly Weasley with new exclusive printing of both torso and leg printing and face print and hair piece, same as it's been since the 2020 Burrow set, of course. And next, oh, whoops. And last to which is Fred and George Weasley with same print torso printing as each other and of course different face prints as well and also same hair pieces obviously and whereas one of which does have this current uh, wit like piece added to the wand and also has one of those recent stand pieces with this interesting tile uh, print on it very nice and also the classic or newer cat piece so which with an angry expression printed on for whatever reason, and but aside from that, uh, quite nice to get in orange, of course. And for the back torso printings of each of them, as you see, all quite good for how they are. And whereas for some old double side faces, which some of which do kind of have, but at least Harry Ron's quite exclusive, Sirius Black's quite escape, quite the same. And also, same with Molly's, and also quite interesting for Fred and George. And whereas for Nifedora Tonks is a witch, as you can see, those have the pig nose kind of it's there, a witch representing that scene in the movie when she they would use math to change uh, facial features, of course. Although, maybe also could have had her with the duck bill to that, also in the scene, but or maybe that could come in a collectible minifig series, but whatever. And also for this minifig selection, well, at least we do get plenty of reused characters from sets before, but at least with new different fate uh, prints to them. But and of course, great to have two exclusive ones, of course. But yeah. And now on to 12 Grimmauld Drive itself. Which, as you can see, will be quite similar to most LEGO buildings, of course. Just bricks stacked on bricks, but, but at least has have a slight bit of snot. I wish done with like these corner uh, tiles and these regular tiles here. But also have those. Uh, railing pieces in the two different types for that, but if you're wondering, can these doors open up? No, not at all. Just there for show. Whereas for the bottom part of which, which as he is made of like of jumpers and uh, gold bars, but all of which in regular great then. And as for this side of which, it does have the like classic uh, street lamp post piece, but you, but you can't attach it off, break, get it off easily because it's integrated part of the build. And have some regular pieces and Nexa Knight's pyramid on top. Same in perfect symmetry. So now for the main feature of which that if you like put your fingers on this or like that, then it just folds 12 right out of which. Of which and of course it's great smooth feature acting just about like in the movie. And in particular, uh, or the Phoenix, of course. And of course this build of which same as the other two, but at least this one that you can open up. And of course, this section is built kind of the same as these other two uh, building sections, but in gray 
instead of uh, beige or darkish tan and also with black instead of brown but also do have a slight bit of sand green on top and if you look on the interior of which as you can see does have a few rooms to add into but also it's quite modular like so most like most sets recently have been except for the middle section probably so it doesn't interfere with the builds of course so, but anyways for this interior section or for this bottom section as you can see you can see there's a desk and also with an astromech droid headpiece but in plain black and also barrel piece in uh, sand blue and also a little window with a curtain right on it and also one of the recent bull pieces quite nice and that's the other side of which pretty much just nothing except for what must be a little wardrobe with a closet on that or with a regular door on it and a couple of chalices above and, yeah. and also for also for these technic beams that are used to hold some of it together as you see it has regular uh, gear pieces but with diamonds on them representing like uh, chandeliers and all which good to see there and whereas for this like middle section which of course is the table that everyone sits down on in this film and of course has those jumper bricks representing seats and also do have regular coffee mugs and uh, glasses of course and also do you get the daily profit uh, which advertising harry on it of course and also do you get the a recent pan frying pan piece in gold and also on a little shelf of the uh, uh, coffee mugs in white and moving up to this mill room which does have a oh, whoops, upright piano on there and of course with those one by two tiles those that are supposed to be the keyboard of course and also same lamp build and also oh, let me get that out it's not sure why this piece is for and of course this piece we usually see in like star earlier star wars sets but kind of odd to see it here in this set but whatever if, if you know why comment below and then above do you get there's like two display uh, dome pieces with the classic skull pieces there and also the a candlestick in the far back of course and also two different uh, tile pieces in there which are bolt stickers of course and also kind of plain both sides in both dark red and dark blue and so now on to these other sections with Oh, whoops. Uh, still together, which are based on put on large angular uh, plates, which do have these large uh, large panel pieces that have stickers on them, uh, which represents on the, and of course these two of which done quite well for that. Well, and of course large family tree on there. And above is quite simple build on for a bed on a large brick with a simple with a dark blue tile and the gold bar piece in white being a pillow and of course that piece that you can slip minifix legs onto and also a tile piece with some odd print on just like we had in the Ministry of Magic set of course and as for this upper section with same button gray but instead just has two brick bricks on there and 
which with a couple of jumpers and newer cone pieces representing a chimney and then also have the and also it's nice to use a smock technique with these bricks here all in white for that and that's it with this one of which and now onto the other one of which this bottom section which is nothing but just this newer chair build which has the gold tile piece there and also good use of those like like curved corner type pieces which which you can definitely use in some mocks and also one of those curvy type pieces on there and also above do get a same exact bed built but with a sticker on it of course and it's on a red tile and also do get next to knight's shield piece that has a gryffindor sticker on it and also a gem red gem piece there and also do get those are just the traditional back pieces but in tan kind of interesting to see that there and above of which same little build for the chimp bit of which and also do get little antenna piece that has one of those connector pieces and also t-bars on there of course and same build for that Let me get these two on together. And now, which I, what I coin, what's kind of odd with this set is the size that it is. That's like 1,083 pieces. But if you look at the recent Ministry of Magic set uh, right here, whereas Ministry of Magic set of which has little less pieces, 990 to the exact. But as you see, it has plenty of it more for that. Uh, not sure if it's me, but Ministry of Magic is actually a little bit bigger of a set. Well, if you have them on the same level, of course. But of course, probably because since this one's a little bit more compact in, but all the size, all the size and prices, Kind of different, kind of a bit, but although it's something you can see, but maybe that's just me. But although I think some of you can kind of vary that a bit. And so now on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict, I think this is a great set to that, like, as a new pick selection, great selection with a lot of exclusive prints and also two new exclusive ones, both a Creature and Nymphadora, of course. But also, but at least, and of course this is something that we haven't seen from uh, the Wizarding World range before, but at least we can get expect some more from like Fantastic Beasts, obviously, and yeah. But also, as for the size for price, which as we just saw, well, at least it may be kind of shorter than the Ministry of Magic one, but at least it still lives up to the hype and all. And for the features, which work out great, just like the movie, of course, but also do get plenty of nice pieces to it, and yeah, and also good to build to it. And so now, if you're looking to get this set for your Harry Potter collection, definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to uh, stretch out your uh, Meaningfully collection as well, also definitely pick this up. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.